you know, Last Epoch 1.0 is less than 24 hours away from being released. And I wanted to create this video because the more and more exposure we get to 11th Hour Games, the studio behind Last Epoch, the more and more I want to applaud them for how they conduct themselves, their principles, their goals, what they want to accomplish. Everything we get exposed to about this studio needs to be applauded because it's so refreshing to see this kind of behavior in today's really greedy world, if, if I can be so blunt. And let me elaborate on that. First of all, 11th Hour Games is only five years new. This company, you probably already know, started off of famously a Reddit post and has grown to what it is today. I believe they're 90 strong. Really, when you compare it to a AAA studio, it's small in comparison, but their game is not small in comparison. This game has evolved every year to where it literally is now embarking on a full release game and leaving the early access title with 1.0 on February 21st. Really remarkable. Other achievements they've managed to achieve in such a short time in five years is the fact that we've just learned they've sold a million copies of their game. They now have a million players that want to play Last Epoch 1.0. Just remarkable what they've done in five years. But the point of this video is really I want to applaud 11th Hour Games because I think they're due and worthy of the applause in my opinion. And that is because of the following. It's refreshing to see an organization take the philosophy and the principles that this development studio is taking. And that is the fact that they take the player feedback seriously. They implement the feedback they receive, not only from the players that play the game and from the community, but also from the creators that are in their creators program, that they ask for feedback, that they ask, hey, can you try this out? Let us know, give us your feedback. And that feedback isn't disregarded. That feedback is seriously divulged internally in the company and then implemented in the game if it makes sense. This is refreshing and it's great to see that they're reaping the rewards of their labor. It really is. This is really a good feel story. It really is. This started from a Reddit post and look at where they are today in just five short years. But I also wanted to highlight the fact how refreshing it is that Every way this company, 11th Hour Games, communicates, markets, implements, improves the game, there is one core thread that goes through all of those different aspects of running a company, especially a game studio, and that is what do our players want? That is the constant thread that weaves all of their decisions. And it's remarkable in today's day and age that a company takes this approach where they take the priority of the game, the quality of the game over the quality of their balance sheet. They have the philosophy, in my opinion, build it and they will come. They don't have a philosophy. How can we maximize our dollars and make more money? They don't have that. Look, at the end of the day, you need to earn money in order to operate as a business. And that applies to a game studio. So of course, anyone is going to always look at the numbers and make sure that you can operate, that you can 
have the resources in order to implement what you want to do. You can never disregard that. But why I want to applaud 11th hour games, that priority of the almighty dollar is not at the top of the list. It's on the list, but it's way down. They have higher priorities. And to me, the fact that they're willing to put the quality of the game and, it, and, and they want to make a game that their players are going to enjoy for many, many, many years. It's just remarkable. And I, I, I want to applaud them. And this is the point of this video. Like you do not, the more exposure we get to this studio, the more and more of a feel good story it is. These are people that listen to the feedback. They actually implement this feedback into the game. And we saw a lot of it in the 1.0 video release, which is playing behind me. They listen to what the players are saying. And you see, it's clear as day. When you look at the evolution of this game from five years ago to where it is today, and you correlate what the feedback has been, you can see that the feedback they're getting is resonating in the game. And their discussions about the future with their cycles of this game are remarkable as well. They know their players want more endgame. It's a huge priority for the player base. And they've already stated prior to even launching their first cycle. And for those of you that don't know, a cycle is very similar, like Diablo 4 calls it a season, Path of Exile calls it a league, Last Epoch calls it a cycle. So my point is Last Epoch and 11th Hour, specifically 11th Hour Games, is already planning for the future and their priority, their number one priority moving forward is tackling having ha tackling the issue of players wanting more things to do at the end game. They've already stated it. That's their number one priority moving forward. And I believe what they say, because if you look at their progression in five years and where this game was and where it is today, the evolution has been unbelievable. And that evolution has been greatly helped from the players and it's rewarding. So I want to applaud them. And Judd, this is the CEO of the company. This is the guy that did the Reddit post. Judd, perfect timing. I want to thank you for what you do. And I want to wish you and your studio nothing but success with the launch of 1.0 because you guys deserve it. Well done. The opinions expressed in this video are mine and solely mine. Healthy debate is always encouraged. Hate is never welcomed. So get over it.